Hey guys, and welcome back to Jacob's Badminton with the Jacob Brothers. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the flick serve return. If you haven't seen our video last week where we covered the flick serve, head over and check that out now. With the flick serve return, we're gonna be showing you the movement, the preparation, and also some shot selection from retrieving the flick serve. So let's jump right in. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at our preparation. The first thing we're going to do is look at where we're going to stand. So we want to make sure we're not leaving a gap on either side. So covering our backhand a little bit, but making sure that we can still get to the forehand too. Most importantly, we want to stand, I would say as close as you can to that line. Okay, the closer you can stand, the more aggressive you're going to be on the low serve. And your opponent's going to low serve probably 90% of the time. So we want to be nice and aggressive on those, but still be able to cover that 10%. If your opponent keeps flick serving, you can always move back a little bit to cover that off. We're going to sit up with our non-bracket leg in front. So I'm right-handed, so I'll have my left foot in front. If you're left-handed, obviously it will be right leg in front. We're going to have a slightly wider stance. I like to have my back heel off the ground, and then you want to be nice and low as well. You want to make sure that those muscles are engaged, so that that's going to allow us to get a nice quick push off and be quick off the mark to get behind that shuttle and hopefully attack it. We're going to make sure, you can see we're slightly turned, we don't want to be facing too straight, but we're on a tightrope, difficult to move. So hips are slightly turned out, and we're on that racket in front. So like I said, we're prepared for that low serve, because the low serve is the shot we have the least amount of time to return. Everything else, you've got a little bit more time to prepare the racket. So now we're going to talk about the movement. You're going to have a nice wide stance, okay, and you're going to be pushing off your left leg to go back to retrieve this backhand flick. You need to start off with a side step or a chassis, and this needs to be fast to get your momentum going towards the back of the court, and then you need to do a kick through after you've done the side step. So it should look a little like this. Okay, as you can see, I'm doing side step and then a kick through. But something else that's really important is your racket preparation. Because if the opponents flick you quite flat, you need to have your racket up straight away to be able to intercept that flick. And most of the time, you'll get more success if your racket's up straight away and you'll be able to get a lot more back and you won't get caught out. So let's just watch one more time with the side step, uh, then the kick through, and then the racket up as well, all at the same time. So when the opponent clicks, the majority of the time the shuttle will go over your head and you'll do the movement that we just learned. So it'll be the chassis and the kick through. But there are other situations when you're playing the opponent and they flick you. For example, when the shuttle goes wide. And the movement that we're going to use there will be a chassis and then a jump out. So let's just have a look at that first. The reason I'm using the chassis and the jump out when the shuttle's a little bit wider is because the kick through puts me more out of position and sometimes off the court, which can be a negative and put you out of position for when you're playing in a match. So the jump out is a lot more efficient and effective when the shuttle's wide. What are we looking to do with the flick serve? So a flick serve is predominantly a shot that's going up. So if we can get the movement right, and we can move back and get ourselves in a good position nice and quick, this can be an opportunity to attack and gain initiative in the rally. So predominantly, we're looking to hit a full smash. But sometimes the shot is going to be slightly behind us, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So we might hit it like a stick smash or a clip, or even a drop shot. And you could even play a half smash. Any of those shots are going to allow us to gain initiative in the rally and force our opponent to hit our boss. There are times though, and I'm sure you've all experienced this, where your opponent's hit a good flick serve and you're a little bit off balance, maybe leaning back. Those times we might hit a clear. And this is
this is going to be a safe shot, 5% shot, and it's going to give us time to get back in position and set, and then maybe try and counter on the defence. If we look at where we're going to place our shot, there's a few options here. Like one of my favourite things to do is play drops and smashes down the middle. This cuts out the angles on the court and gives our partner a chance to intercept it in the forecourt. Another useful thing as well is to smash back to the person that's flick served. When they're retreating back in the court under pressure, you can pin the shuttle on them nice and quick. This can force a weak return. And then if you see any gaps on the court, like if the person at the back hasn't got in position quick enough, it could be great to play a drop just in front of them into those spaces that they played. So I hope that helped you retrieving the flick serve. If you do get a chance to give this a go next time you're on court, see if the movement helps you and see if the tactics and the movement benefit your game. And if you enjoyed the video and found it useful in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys in the next one. Out.